Hello class, this is Art 1, Unit 1, making a personal sketchbook. Step 1, gather your supplies. You will need scissors, a ruler, an old paintbrush or Q-tips, an X-Acto knife with a cutting board, which is optional, 8.5 by 11 paper, Mod Podge glue, magazine stationery, scrapbook paper, fabric, a straight edge, cup of water and paper towel, and clips, potato chip clips, binder clips, and last but not least, cardboard. Step number two, cardboard size check. Find cardboard that is the right size by taking an eight and a half by 11 paper and folding it in half, then placing it on the cardboard. You will wanna see space around it. Make sure there are no folds in the cardboard you will want two pieces. Step three, measure and cut. Take your ruler and measure it lengthwise by making a nine inch mark. The top of the ruler is lined up with the top fold of the cardboard. I make guideline marks by marking it three times and then I draw a horizontal line by connecting the dots. I then turn my ruler horizontally and I line it up with the edge of the fold. I make guideline marks at the five and the quarter inch three times. Then I turn my ruler vertically to connect my dots and draw a straight line. I then cut out my cardboard with either scissors, an X-Acto knife, a box cutter, or even a paper cutter if you happen to have one. Once you have the first piece of cardboard cut out, go ahead and trace it onto another piece of cardboard. Remember to not have any folds in your new piece of cardboard. Then you'll take your scissors and you'll cut out the cardboard. Once you have both pieces cut, line them up together to make sure they are the same size. And if they are not, please adjust. Now that both pieces are cut, go ahead and label your covers. The front is gonna say, Art Is. The back is gonna say, Your Name. Label so that you don't get confused and don't decorate your book upside down. Step number four, collect images. I first start by collecting images that I like. Then once I get an idea, I narrow it down. You can see here, I've started to look at certain colors. Step number five, cut and lay out your design. Step number six, glue. Step number seven, glue letters. Step number eight, wrap around edges. Step number nine, decorate the inside. Make sure to cover all cardboard. Get creative, add pockets. Clips help hold down your pockets. Step 10, count out 20 papers and fold. Fold each paper one by one. Use a straight edge like a gift card to compress the edges. Make a pile 
and make sure that all your folds are facing the same direction. Step 11, glue pages. Use clips to hold papers in place. Make sure that the folded side gets the glue. When gluing, make sure you are applying an even application. Use your finger or your Q-tips to clean up the edges as needed. Once again, I am using my clips to hold the papers in place. With the clips in place, make sure that you give enough time to let it dry. Step 12, glue cover. Line papers up with the cover. Use clips to hold it in place. Glue and let dry. Use clips along the edges to hold the glue in place. Use your fingers or your Q-tip to wipe the edges. Step 13, add binding. For your binding, you can add paper or tape or even fabric. Here I'm using magazine. Add more glue. Trim extra paper or fold over the edges. Then add even more glue on top. Let dry. Step 14, number pages. Number the front and back of each page. You should have about 80 pages total. Now you are ready to turn your first project. Well done. 